Hello guys, in this video I'd love to help you understand the meaning, the purpose of the service annotation in Spring Framework with some code examples. I am Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. So, the service annotation can be used at class level only. The semantic purpose of using this uh, service annotation is to indicate that the annotated class as a service and you know, a service implements domain-specific business logics and it does not contain states. And the technical purpose of using the service annotation is that the annotated class will be auto-detected through class path scanning by Spring Framework. And Spring will create an instance of the class which is then managed in the application context and the instance is called managed bin. And the managed bin will be eligible for dependency injection, such as via auto wire fill of a class. Let me show you a quick example of using the service annotation. You see, we have a business class user service, and it implements a business method list that returns a list of user objects, and we use the service annotation to mark the class as a service and you see it uh, imports the service annotation from this uh, package of dot framework dot stereotype dot service and then uh, we can uh, inject uh, an instance of this uh, service class in another spring component such as in a rest controller uh, through an auto wire field like this you see we use the auto wire annotation to tell Supreme Framework that uh, this uh, component class requires an instance of user service uh, which should be available in the application context and uh, we use the list method here. Make sense? And let me show you the coding in action in a Java Spring project. Here you see I have the user service class and I implement the business method list that returns a list of user objects. You can see it uh, returns a list of two users, user one and user two, and we use the service annotation here to indicate that this class is a service that implements uh, business logics uh, related to the domain of the application. In this case, it is about user management. And this is a user class. Okay, and this is a test uh, class that has a main method. And we create a new annotation config application context object and call the scan method to let Supreme Framework to scan all the classes under the package net.coreJava and call refresh to load the scanned objects uh, into the application context and then we can get the managed bin user service from the application context like this and invoke the method list and for each user object in the collection we uh, call the print line method to uh, bring the details of each user that means the two string method of a user object uh, will be invoked. Okay, now let me run this uh, very simple Spring application. Run as Java application. And you can see it prints uh, the details of two user objects, user ID 1 and user ID 2 in the console here. By default, uh, the name of the bin is uh, user service. But you can also specify a different name uh, in the annotation here. For example, I specify the name service one. Then if I run the application again, it uh, will fail. You see, no such bin definition exception, no bin name user service available. So to fix this error, we need to uh, specify the name service one in this method and run the application again.
okay you see it works normally now so uh, with the service annotation you can specify the name of the managed bin like this and uh, let me show you the coding uh, in a java spring boot project here i have a spring boot uh, project you can see uh, i'm using spring boot starter parent and uh, spring boot starter web here and this is a user entity class this is a user service we use the service annotation here and this class implements the list uh, business method here and in the user controller which is a rest controller we can uh, auto wire uh, like this uh, to refer to an instance of the user service managed bin in the application context and we invoke the list method here and this is the main class uh, i also write some code to retrieve a user service bin from the application context for a spring boot application you need to uh, implement the application context aware and uh, override the method uh, set application context and use the context to get the bin uh, specify the bin name and invoke the list method now let me run this uh, this spring boot application okay you see in the console it prints the details of two user objects uh, is the result of this code in the main method and uh, the application is up and long running let me test in a command line using curl program you can see it returns the details of two users in form of this JSON document that means the code of the rest controller user controller is uh, working all right now i hope you have a better understanding of the service annotation in the spring framework please, please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching